In today's video, we're going to be looking at the White Newman, a sacred animal tarot. I got this secondhand magnetic click flick box. Gosh, I hope I can see this. I might actually open up my blind. Let there be light. That's better. A sacred animal tarot, complete 78 card tarot deck with introductory booklet, lighting your path to the spiritual realm, inspired by ancient rituals and stories of sacred animal spirits. White Newman Tarot forms a path to human connection with the natural world and spiritual realm. A stunning and original tarot deck by Alba Balesta Gonzalez. And there is the at a liminal 11 deck. I haven't got many liminal 11 decks, but this must now be my third. And I purchased this because I was so happy with another deck I had. The deck that I had was the white, modern white, white rich tarot. But I've also got this one, which is, I bought these two at the same time. Someone was clearing out their collection, the Cosmic Slumber Tarot, which I have used during a live. And this one, I haven't even looked through. And it's quite sad, really. Someone's clearing out their collection. And you know what's quite sad? I'll tell you why. They haven't even undone it. So it is brand new absolutely brand new there's the cover there so we'll go through each card then we will go through the booklet i've just unclipped it all so it's brand new never been shuffled never been used look at that brand new so let's have a look and see shall we it'd be interesting to see what the guidebook's about the magician so sorry about the very sexy the high priestess the Empress, so we've got a border there. Not knowing what I think of the artistry yet. I would have to use, I think. I think I'd have to definitely use the Hierophant, being a female. To be honest, I thought this was going to be animals. I guess there's snakes on there, the lovers. Oh, there is animals, but I thought it would... It would be the animals would show a more dominant. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Look, we've got the elk there. Will of Fortune. Be interesting to see how this deck goes using it. The hangman. There is a border. Very unique artistry. Interesting temperance card there. The devil, another interesting take on the devil. The tower. Hark, where is the tower? Let's put that one aside and we'll look at that one in the booklet. The star. The moon. Can see the sun there but yeah i don't know how to how i feel about this deck just yet i think i'd have to use to make a real uh case whether i like it or not in the world ace of wands two of wands definitely not a pip deck it is full full artistry each card is drawn Depicting a message. Five of Wands. We've got the same colour scheme coming through with these reds. A burnt, burnt brown, burnt red. So it'd be interesting to see if the other miners. Nine of Wands. Got the snakes coming through. Ten of Wands. So the snakes have all played a part so far in that one page of wands I'm gonna have to really dive into the guidebook and king of wands it's coming a bit more colorful 
So let's look at the cups. We've got a lot of blues. Yes. So we can identify each minor not only by the cup ones, and I'm sure the same can be said about the swords and the pentacles, but also the colour scheme. You know, we have a lot of blues now coming through for the cups. Gosh, I'm loving the nine here. Loving that too, the ten of cups. And then we've got a bit more colours coming through for the court cards. Oh, I keep going to put one up there, one down. So then we have the swords. Yes, and again, we're keeping to the theme of the same type of colour. Beautiful there. Actually, the more I'm flipping through it, the more I'm liking it. So it is interesting. What I'm finding is with each deck now, I'm giving, uh, I'm looking at each card and I'm reading the book with each card. I feel like I'm learning more and more about tarot and the, and the meanings and the artist's interpretation on each deck. I'm learning a lot more. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. King of Swords. Yeah, the more that I'm flipping through it, the more I'm vibing with it. Pentacles, we've got that beautiful lime green. Four. Beautiful. Let's read those two cards up there. Six. We'll look through the guidebook in a moment. Seven. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so I really thought it was going to be a full-on animal deck, but it's not. It is the mixture of both human with animals. This one, nope. You've got the lemon there. And you've got the crow there. Oh, and we've got two bonus decks, two bonus cards, the white Newman and the black. So would that be a yes and no, yin and yang? And we'll look through the guidebook a bit deeper. Now, the guidebooks, I, this is why I've been looking at this publisher. I like the guidebook. I like it. It's, it's individual. It's not copied. It's not replicated by deck to deck. So that's the reason why I enjoy, at the moment, this publisher. So you've got a full page for the major and the minors. You've also got, oh, I guess a little blurb, a little paragraph. Hmm, the other one's quite stuck. So we'll look at the, I have, if I got, oh yeah, I have got a major and a minor. The five pentacles I pulled out. The five of pentacles, the meaning... Fallen in the snow, the five of pentacles over her body. The cold has penetrated deep inside and her tears are frozen. Hardships, especially of health or finance, are felt to be suffered alone and yet still she endures. Mm. And we've got the tower. Oh, the tower. Oopsies. The revelation, transformation, chaos. So he's speared there. Pierced from on high in seemingly divine retribution, the unbeatable colossus falls. So assured, so confident, nearly to the point of arrogance. His assumptions of invincibility are now rudely shattered. The shock of being vulnerable is equal to the pain of the piercing arrows. Oh, that's a powerful take of the tarot for the tower card. The shock of being vulnerable. 
Mm. Towering columns, babel-like in the expression of human hubris and vanity, remain standing for now. But assumptions are questioned. Are we truly godlike? How firm are our foundations? What all is destroyed? How do we rebuild? Is it through the tower that these questions will be answered? Oh, loving that. So that is the White Newman deck. Let me know what you think about it. So that is the White Newman. Let me know what you think. That is another deck we'll be utilizing. Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, where we dig deep into my tarot collection.